for younger first basemen, if the throw is a low throw and going to be bouncing, we encourage you to turn into just a regular infielder position, block it, and then touch the base. I know that isn't as sizzly or as dramatic as scoops, um, but for younger players, too many balls go past you when you try to do scoops. We'd encourage you to just block that low throw and then touch the base. If the runner's safe, you've still got the force at second, and may the force be with you. If you end up teaching your kids to stretch uh, for the ball and keeping what we'll call the scoop play, really the key principle is to keep your glove down as long as possible until you see it come up. Too many young players descend and then they think the ball is going to come up and they come up. Most balls will stay down. Stay down. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there down. Only when you see it come up is when you commit to come up. Too many players will stay down and then they'll think, oh, the ball is going to come up. You'll be fast, you'll be shocked at how quick your reaction time is. Assume it's gonna stay down. Oh, it might come up, oh, it might come up, oh, it didn't come up. I'm down here again, oh, it might come up, oh, it came up. Hang in there as long as possible, if you can, on the down. Hang in there, hang in there, hang, oh, it came up. Hang in there, hang, oh, it didn't come up, and I caught it. Too many people come up too early. Hang in there down as long as possible. Assume it will stay down until you see it come up.